You know, I had a very interesting day today with Uncle Bobby at the Ewing Oil Refinery. He told me all about what makes Daddy JR tick. We're a lot more alike than you think. I heard you wanted to take after your daddy in every way. That's right. Well, congratulations then, because you have. I'd like to propose a toast to J.R. Ewing, my daddy. J.R. is married. So what? She's young, and she's very pretty. He'll get tired of playing sugar daddy. I want to talk to you. Well, James, I'm glad you're here. I didn't get a chance to thank you. Thank me? For what? Helping you cheat on your wife? You were protecting Callie from getting hurt. Well, it's not a big thing if nobody gets hurt. Yeah? Well, I got hurt. Well, I've learned my lesson. From now on, I'm following in your footsteps. Daddy. Hello, Daddy. James, what the hell are you doing here? I thought you'd be happy to see me. It's funny. You look right at home here. Well, enjoy it while you can, but I'm going to destroy both of you. You're going to regret the day you ever met me, boy. No threats, JR. This is not a threat. This is a guarantee. Now you get me the hell out of here, you little bastard. No way, Daddy. It's payback time. You're in here for good. What? <sighs> what the hell are you doing here? I could have broken your neck just as easily as look at you, Daddy. Pleasant dreams, Daddy. JR fired his secretary. She's out for blood. She's got JR's files. Names, dates, payoffs. And I want you to have them. What do you get in return? Nothing. I just want you to use the information to bring my daddy down to his knees. I want to see him at the bottom, with me. Morning, Daddy. My, look at all the pretty stones. You're being a little premature, aren't you? All right, you go back to your motorcycle shop and your dirty fingernails and your cot in the back room. I hope you'll be happy. Well, thanks very much, Daddy. Callie's gone now. And if you know what's good for you, you won't say a word about this to anybody. Trust me, Daddy. It'll be our little secret. What are you doing here? I came to congratulate you. I hear you made a complete ass of yourself the other night at the oil barons. Just trying to make life better for my daddy. She split because she wanted to get married, and I didn't. And why didn't you want to get married? Why do you think? I mean, look at the role model I had in my daddy. Hello, Daddy. What are you doing here? Well, I just wanted to see what you think is so wonderful about this place. Ah, the best part about it is nobody knows who you are. Well, I thought you'd come see it before she left. Well, cheer up, Daddy. You still got your work. And that's all that really matters to you. And isn't South work better than some crappy room in the back of a garage or in some bimbo's bed? Well, maybe you're right, Daddy. Maybe we ought to try to be one big happy family again. Mm, guess what else? Well, tell me. Evening, Daddy. I thought you wouldn't mind if I moved back in tonight. You know, Daddy, you didn't sound real sincere when you congratulated us. You know, Daddy, John Ross was telling me that when his grandpa was alive, you all had a tradition of sitting down at dinner at six o'clock sharp. Well, there was a reason, Daddy. What's the matter with right now? Now, Daddy, where would you be if this was your honeymoon? Let me tell you something, little lady. This isn't Ewing Oil, and it never will be. Until a Ewing is here running it. Well, there is one here, Daddy. Oh, it's uh, 5.30. Time for another South Fork tradition. Pre-dinner cocktails. What a terrific idea. Can I get you a drink, Daddy? Well, sure. A bourbon on the rocks, please. Thank you, James. Say, listen, I want you to make a reservation at the Old Barons for me tomorrow. I'm going to take James to lunch. Well, you two have patched things up? <laughs> well, I'm working on it, that's for sure. You know, I like that boy in spite of what he's done to me. I am persuaded him to come back south for it. You're kidding. Isn't he married to April's sister? Yeah. Yeah, but not for long. 
I'm going to give him the father he always wanted. He's going to be so happy to call me daddy, and we're going to team together and push that little tramp Michelle right out of you and all. Now, I capped these fields when the price of oil meant nothing. Yeah, so? Well, if I were you, I'd unplug those wells and start pumping oil as fast as I could. Now, who knows how long the price of oil is going to be up this high, and I'd take advantage of it. <laughs> well, thanks, Daddy. Now, I want to tell you two something, and I'm only going to say it once, so you better pay attention. My daddy built this house, and there are certain traditions and values that we live by here. I won't have you making a mockery of them. If you're going to be married, you act married. And I don't want you showing up here with some stranger. Do you understand that? You got my word on it, Daddy. Good. Let's go into dinner. Well, I really think it behoove you to be a little bit nicer to her. At, at least until we can get a better deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm way ahead of you, Daddy. What are you talking about? Well, it's not going to work out for us here. Well, if I remember correctly, you were a young man in search of his daddy and a family. And you got that. You could buy a house in Dallas, and at least we could work together. Daddy, you can't help being the way you are any more than a lightning bolt can help striking the ground. Here you go, James. Well, you know, you're really something, Daddy. So are you, son. So are you. Say bye-bye, Papa. Bye-bye, Papa.